communicate around school. What, between teachers and pupils or? Uh, both. Just talking to them face to face is very good I find. But people who sort of just mass delete their emails so you know what's going on there. Now if they find themselves in the workplace later uh, and they've done that and miss important meetings with their boss or clients they're going to find themselves out of a job. So I would recommend very strongly that people read their emails conscientiously and take responsibility for that rather than thinking oh it doesn't matter. You know, and saying you know miss I haven't done my prep because I didn't read my email. Uh, absolutely not on. Uh, grow up, get on with it. That would be my advice. Okay. Thank you, Zorjo. Sorry, so of course it's race. Yeah, are you in house? Yeah. There was a physics test this morning. Yeah, I missed the physics test. Was there no physics test? Yes, there was, and now you get detention. Um. What do you mean I get detention? I didn't miss the physics test. There was an email about I it. I get an email about it. When did you last check your emails? Maybe Monday. I checked my emails. Yeah, there was a te- physics test this morning. I had a physics test this morning, and whoever did do it gets detention. From here. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Okay, bye. Yeah, no, I'm like signing like I'm gonna go to bed. What are you doing now? It's 20 minutes past your bedtime. Go to bed now. Then she told me that someone else had been on her phone and texted all these wrong people. Oh so I just left there standing at the station on my own. You loser. She went really excited. Basically at lunch, someone took my phone and sent a text to Phoebe. Said, are we going to meet up in Knightsbridge? And she went all the way and I wasn't there. And I didn't oh, know. That's so bad. Oh, I can't. I was like, so bad for her. Did she not call you? No, because she's, she, cause I, like, someone kept on texting. So I'm like, we're going to meet up. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so, so Chloe and Lexi, what are good ways to communicate around school? Email. Yeah. <laughs> Email is really good. And also uh, phones. Or if you are in trouble, sometimes you go to the teacher face to face. Chloe and Louise, what are good ways to communicate around school? Um, email, um, phones, if text, do this. email. Yeah, and you know, what's the best way to communicate with your friends? Text, message, DM. Speaking to them. <laughs> and, um, hanging out with them, sending pigeons to them. They seem to be here now for a coffee. <laughs> um, what are good ways to communicate with your parents? On the phone or text, you can write them a letter. On the weekend, in person, you can go home. And have you any ever any experienced, you know, something at school where you haven't communicated well with a teacher or with, yeah? Yeah. Do you get in trouble? Moral of that story. Really okay. with but an email. Martha and Lexi, what are good ways to communicate around school? Uh, email if you have to talk to teachers. And what if you have to talk to your friends about like gossip and stuff like that? Face to face. I've never felt this way. I'm heartbroken without your love.
and Martha and Lexi, what are good ways to communicate around school? <laughs> um, email. Wait, wait, wait. I never knew about it. I forgot. Oh. Okay, good guys, just do it again. I'm not going to waste my money. Fifth form. How well did you communicate with Mr. White last year? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say very well. Yeah, he is a really, really nice guy. Thanks for everything, John. I really <laughs> No, it's fine. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> guys, just call her because I need to. It's, it's fine. I can crop it off. <laughs> oh, great, Ella. <laughs> Waking people up is a bad form of communication. <laughs> Talk to them in the morning. <laughs> this is going on it. I've never